to the channel if you're new here my name is Jamie don't be scared uh, we are in a shed in Newfoundland doing watch reviews um, you just got to do something different and maybe you got to do something that's more comfortable for you and sat in my house uh, in front of my desk just doesn't work for me so uh, I got to get out and I'm I enjoy my shed I enjoy the outdoors so this works uh, so today's watch is from Van Banner Watches. Um, here you go, Van Banner. The uh, the team at Van Banner, I think, is one. It's a team of one. LV, thanks for uh, lending this prototype uh, watch into the channel for review, a little bit more content, and uh, get the name out there. LV and the Van Banner Group of Watches have, uh, this is their third, I think, uh, according to the website, they started out with the Trilobita, Trilobita, uh, which I'm a big fan of, but apparently didn't go over, uh, I'm not sure why, it's a big old chunk of steel with a nice meaty bracelet on it, which is, uh, I like it, uh, and then it was the Parking Master, which seemed to do pretty good on Kickstarter, I think that one's all sold out and was fully funded, uh, right now LV is working on the... Lea, L-E-A, the L-E-A, uh, Lea watch, uh, which I'll show you shortly, uh, pretty big fan of, uh, military field desk type of look to it, uh, 24 hours on the dial there, uh, lots of field watch, uh, feel to it, uh, design elements, and, uh, also some dive watch elements that we all like are rotating bezels and uh, water resistance and loom so um, big fan of the loom on this watch also loads of loom so this one is also the Leah is also right now uh, on Kickstarter I think it's also fully funded uh, so you know get in there if this one's gonna happen I believe with a release date of August what I've got is a prototype fairly confident on that um, and the release in August um, it's gonna be a fun one I believe it's got a little bit more patina to it and uh, faux patina as it were and if you're a big fan of uh, patina faux patina look uh, this one will be for you this one sports an NH35 the workhorse of the current micro brand industry uh, watches all over the world are taking on that NH35 we all love our Seikos so uh, I'll flip the camera around. You can get a look at it. We'll run through some of the dimensions and we'll see if it's for you also. And so here we are. The Van Banner comes in this. It's very long. Let's see if I back this up for a second. Here you go. So that thing is about... Let's see if I can just get a rough estimate. So the box is about six and yeah it's about 11 inches long that old box there and uh, so it's cardboard outer sleeve and then the um, sort of an embossed uh, box inside and you open it up I'm not sure if your watch is going to come with two straps but this particular one showed up to me uh, with a couple of straps um, I'll talk a little bit about those shortly so a canvas uh, and then a leather NATO strap uh, This again is a review unit, so it's been around a little bit So there's no like warranty card or anything in it uh, So there we go. So up close we have the Van Banner Lea LEA so um, a Very field watch I've been wearing it Over the weekend um here you go so it's got uh, like an i don't know if we call it an intermediate but it's definitely got uh different levels layers within the dial uh that's i think the most striking not the most striking but it's definitely 
<laughs> There's a couple of striking things about the watch. Um, so layers within the dial. Um, you'll see the green outer ring here. Let's see if we can get the light correct on it. Uh, I'd like a minute track, which is great. Then the um, middle of the dial here, this black section is also sandwiched. And below that there is a loom, uh, a full loom pad, I guess, below it caused to give it the contrast, uh, the coloring there for the white numerals, that's cutouts. So if we look at it a little bit closer, let's see. You got Van Banner at the 12. Let's undo that crown. Get those hands out of the way. I'm going to have to actually give it a little bit more room to move. The Van Banner uh, VB logo printed on at the 12. And then Leah and the 300 meters of water resistance at the 6. Oops, there we go. And a date window at the 6 also an automatic written there at the 30 printed on um, I do like this watch I must say very well balanced I like the dial layout uh, it works for me there's loads of loom the outer bezel 120 click unidirectional bezel and uh, that's a fully loomed bezel all the plots are loomed all the little indices markers and uh, all the number numerals are loomed and then it within this minute track on the outside there's loads of loom there also um really yeah i'm gonna highlight the uh date window there oops let's see that date window we're gonna just get the date just to man i keep messing that up here we go. So you get a three date with the center being the date of the day that uh, you're looking for. Thought that was pretty neat. Uh, screw down crown, uh, no crown guards. And then the crown itself, let's get that into position here. There you go, sign crown with the VB and the logo. That is also loom in there. So if you're a loom junkie, this one's for you. Um, Pretty striking case side profile for the case design there. Very uh, blocky, sort of squared out edges. I do like it. The finish on it is uh, definitely not polished. It might even be bead blasted. Um, sort of a gray gunmetal looking finish to it almost. So those, um, there's the uh, lugs. Those lugs again, very squared out angles. Um, not uh, like round polished edges uh, no sharp edges though very uh, very nicely finished and again very striking um, side profile across from the crown the opposite side of the case shows a van banner screwed uh, van banner like tag screwed directly into the side of the watch uh, there you go maybe if I block the light just a little bit There you go. Citizen Skyhawk and that is probably the busiest watch face on the planet if you know that watch so uh, Van Banner watches so we talked a little bit about design elements let's talk about the dimensions I'll back this out a little bit so I don't lose it the dimensions are let's talk about the case diameter at 47 Ooh, no goodness 45 across the bezel so that's not exactly a small watch um, thickness if I remove the NATO 
We'll also get into the case back on it. It is 14 millimeters thick. The strap, I believe, is 22. No, we are talking 24 millimeter. I knew it was large. A 24 millimeter strap width. That's a big old strap. Yeah. And lug tip to lug tip is 54, 53. 53. So 24 millimeter straps on a 45, what's that? 45 millimeter width. Yeah, 45. The Leah is not a small watch by any means. Um, so screw down case back, screw down crown gives it those 300 meters of water resistance. Exhibition case back, and you can see that workhorse, the NH35. Moving around in there. Uh, sapphire crystal on the front. And uh, let's see what else it says there. Designed in Canada. 316L stainless steel sapphire crystal. Uh, no serial number on this one at all. It is a no serial number prototype. Uh, this watch came dressed with uh, quick release spring bars, which were quite convenient in changing out the straps earlier. So definitely not for the faint of heart. It's a, a big bold design with the Leah and its uh, dimensions uh, definitely put it out of reach for some people or at least out of contention for uh, what people some people think they can handle on their wrist. Um, overall, I like the uh, design element, the, the contrast between this black bezel uh, and insert to the body. Really do enjoy. The... Um, some people might find it to be a con. Uh, one of the, uh, if we talk about pros and cons, pros for me are loom, uh, your workhorse movement. You won't have to worry about it for a long time. Uh, unique case design, big pro for me. It's hard not to uh, highlight the uh, case design. That side profile is pretty cool to me. Definitely different, and different is sometimes good. Uh, I think we're a, a crazy bunch within the watch community. Uh, we cry for people, scream for people to do something different, and when they do, we bash them for being too different. And uh, if they're not different enough, we're screaming for them uh, to be more different. So, loads of loom, uh, pretty cool case uh, design, uh, doll design, must admit. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it, but it, it definitely doesn't, uh, it's not a, a con for me. But uh, the thickness of the straps, uh, let's just talk about that for a second. So on this leather, we are uh, two millimeters of thickness, and that leather is uh, pretty soft. It's going to break in pretty quickly. I am a huge fan of this nylon strap, um, but it's very tough right now. It's very, uh, still very, you know, so that one's also two millimeters. I thought it was going to be thicker. Um, these are going to be great straps. I think they're going to be good quality. Uh, last year, a long time. The uh, metal eyelets, I think, are great against this green. Um, but I think it's going to be a little bit to get it broke in. Uh, two millimeters. Uh, by comparison to your Mora NATO straps, let's see. Yeah, half the thickness, one millimeter. Um, I think you're going to notice it. Um, I don't know what they are doing at Van Banner for the future release and so that's also a crown and buckle NATO strap and that's also just over one millimeter versus this one full two millimeters thick and still pretty stiff it needs to be worn a little bit and I think it would break in um, so not so much a con but uh, you know something to be I guess aware of uh, the front I think it's a good quality, high quality nylon strap. Stitching looks really strong. Um, the uh, sort of gunmetal finish to the buckles and keepers. So overall, I'm um, I'm a big fan of the Van Banner. This has been 11 minutes easily of me rambling about the Van Banner watch. Lots to see um, with the Van Banner. Uh, Keep looking, uh, check them out at Van Banner Watches on Instagram and uh, 
at uh, vanbannerwatches.com and check them out. I'm going to get you some loom to close this video out.